You're weird. You're the only snake I know that can't sleep when you eat. She's the only snake I know that can't lay in the same hide that she eats in. She eats in the human hide and then moves to her regular fucking hide when she's done with her mouth. No way. I forgot something. Your head? What? No. My head right here. I found only way to die. I will get paid January 4th to die day. That leaves me to go get it and put it in a motherfucking chair. That means I can have more for Christmas. That was me you gotta pay rent again out of this next one? Mm. No, because then we're hit on the 8th, the check. I'll get paid on the 4th or the 5th, so. It should be the 4th. So this thing. So it should be good. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Even though it may mean you running to Wally World in a hurry on Christmas Eve. Oh. I don't know why I want to go through this so bad. Why would that be going to Wally World? Oh. We get a lot of Get ready to do. I don't know if it's one of those. Because your dad's going to try to get the majority of your guys' it's Christmas. Out of his next check, but he don't get back until the 23rd. It's like what the water's over there. Well, like the 22nd or 23rd. Mm -hmm. Paychecks on the 22nd. I will probably get paid Wednesday the 20th. I'm hoping I got Thursday the 21st off. But I doubt it. <laughs> and I'll be pissed if I am. Yeah. Very pissed if I work the whole fucking weekend and I gotta work the day after and I don't get fucking holiday day. It doesn't really make sense. Not why I see you running to Walmart either before or after work. Because I was going to try to order a little bit this pay, but the majority of it, your dad's going to buy out his next check. Oh, makes sense. Phones, right? Well, no, I got phones and I got a uh, electric bill. Mm-hmm. Was that the 20th? 19th. Oh, uh, good. Uh, And we got water bill. Cause it's due on the twenty seventh. Hello. I'm 
Will you give me a drink, Chris? Buddy YouTube short. Hey honey, how about you come in here and meet my new boyfriend? Not now, Mom, I'm busy. Hey champ, how are you? Oh, you don't like champ? How about Kingslayer 14? I've not used that name in years. Oh, I know. Ten years ago, Modern Warfare 2, you drop shot me. I said I'd bang your mom. You said there's no way. But here I am. <sighs> hey, honey. <laughs> Who would that be? You. Ten years ago. 
I said I'll bring your mom. Who that be? And here I <laughs> The neck kids is how I met your mother to get back at your not fully blood at your half brother. What are you doing to your butt? Itching a scab? Oh, and I know it's going to come off because it itches, though. You might as well have the bottom of your foot. Top. Yeah. I mean, it's really good to talk about. We don't want to retire to this, but I'm sure you have. I don't know if it is. I mean, it's CJ's butt. Yeah. They work with him. Yeah, I know. They do a lot at the farm. All of them. You'd have to look up off grid living. Yeah, YouTube has the shit. I've already been there before. Yeah, that's the way that we we could do that. Suppose you got arrested comes from. You want proof? Cause you don't want to type it in. Yeah, I know. And I knew that's what it was. You wanted to watch something else, but you didn't want to type it in. Oh, look. You can tell I've watched it, too. I don't know. I just like the view. I'll tell you the truth. Oh, my God. 
lost this year. And pump that glow. <coughs> Often you'll come Where out you in the right morning now? and you'll just hear the blowing. It's just so amazing. British Columbia, which I want to say is on the edge of Canada. I've been living on my sailboat for about 10 years, but my dog was getting a bit elderly and it was time to get off the boat. So I put an ad on Facebook and a lot of different things happened. And I ended up... I think it's one of the properties the over there in, Co in so Canada, but... I check the docks every day. I check the property every day. I just make sure that everything is running smoothly. In the summertime, it's really a lot more work, physical labor. And you take care of a tourist attraction, pretty much. So all the buildings have this dope. So part of my job is to split, haul, and stack every single piece of wood that's burned on the property and mowing the lawn and take care of the greenhouse and stuff like that. That's my big job in the summer, and that takes up a lot of time in the summer. I make sure the batteries are charged at night fires in the winter time. Uh, I make sure that the power stays on in the house. You know, the freezers keep going. So just basically, I just look after everything that has to do with the property. But or you take care of someone's vacation property. So I have a lot of clients. Most of my clients are in the United States. <laughs> Uh, so I, I work fully remote. <coughs> so I'll spend about three hours in the morning working Basically on the property. Basically what I think she and bought a little piece of property on this island that most of her clients own. Or they gave her a little piece of property. Or, yeah. You can get some water budget uh, sales service on this dock and from the house, the big house itself. Um, but I don't even remember that time. <laughs> there are two cabins and a main house on the property. My cabin was built probably about 25 years ago. And it's nice and cozy and it's... Ain't you doing dishes? What? Dishes! Um, little area for eating. And that's basically for just in my desk when I'm working. Oh, that's crap. I didn't even really turn down my TV while you were home. Bedrooms. Each bedroom I has it down. two <laughs> The cabin is 100% uh, heated by a wood stove. I wonder why uh, my value was so quiet today. In the winter. And sometimes because of where the cabin is, it stays quite cool in there. So I often have to um, run the wood stove in the summertime as well. But I don't mind that. And in the summertime... One of the two cabins is an Airbnb, and that's part of my job here in the summertime. In the summertime, I do have a boat that the owners put into the water, so I use that to get to town. I will go there for doctor's appointments and for grocery runs. But if I can avoid going, I <laughs> will avoid going. I'd rather not go. I'd rather just hang out here. In the winter time, the caretakers on the property next to us, oh, it's a totally different island. They have a covered boat, which is nice and warm. So in the winter time, we'll go once a month for a supply run. We do have a greenhouse on the property. I, I am definitely no green thumb <laughs> at all, but I've learned a lot already which is good. The biggest challenge here is greenhouse is quite small and anytime you plant anything outside, the deer eat it. In other words, you need a bigger greenhouse. Target, try fast and free drive up. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Boy, turn down your phone! Animals 
get to the islands via the currents. The currents around these islands are massive. They're super fast, super strong, and literally a bear just has to hop into the current and get off at the next island. So in the summertime, I definitely have to be very bear aware. I can't even tell you the number of times I've walked outside and gone around the side of my cabin and looked up and there's a bear right there. So that's a bit of a challenge. I carry bear spray with me in the summertime everywhere I go. Like I leave that cabin, I've got bear spray on me. Um, in the wintertime, it's not so bad, but last winter after a snowfall, I came out of the cabin and to go turn on the generator. And when I came out, there were cougar prints on the road and it had stopped right by the door. So I think me turning on the generator scared it away. Um, but yeah, so cougars are a big um, concern in, in the winter time. If I get hurt or I have to go to the hospital, the first thing I would do is call my neighbors. They would pretty much drop everything and come coming at me. They're just those kind of people. Like I've broken a couple of toes with dropping on them and the owners did, you know, have to take me to the hospital. Um, but they were basically here the next day. Off-grid teaches you how to be really aware of what you're consuming and how to manage that. The owners just recently added solar to the property. It's been fantastic. I believe there's about 8,000 watts of solar coming in. in you don't even know who the owners are. We literally don't run well, you the, call the owners. At all. So the solar you panels, really ever they see them. power the property for the entire summer. There are four generators on the property. The generators are used mostly in the winter. And if we run them for three hours, it fully charges everything on the property, all the batteries on the property. And the generators run on diesel. What badass. There's a well on the property. When the generator runs, the well fills the water tank and then the entire property is gravity fed from that water tank. All of the water lines are buried right. under the ground, um, but still just to be safe, if it gets below a certain temperature, it just shut the water right off. So the water jumps on my deck, up to my water, just in case the water goes off. There is a septic field on the property. All the black water goes there. This island is a protected island. Um, you are not allowed to cut down trees, but we often have a lot of windfalls. So those trees, they'll often be cut up for firewood, but the majority, probably 90% of the wood that we use here on the property, we get it from the ocean. So when the high tides come in, they um, loosen up all the logs from the shorelines and then they just float by. So I'll hop in the kayak and I'll kayak out and I'll hammer a staple into the log and tie it up and I'll just kayak it back and yeah, I'll drag it up to the shoreline. I just grab a chainsaw and cut it up into pieces and then I haul it up to the wood splitter. I split it up and then I stack it up in the woodshed. Once the wood is split and stacked, we let it sit probably for a good six, seven months before we even touch it. Yeah. Because sometimes they're so wet that when you split it, it's like water comes out of it. Because it's been a bit difficult keeping in touch with friends and family. You have to be on my lap and nail up in my grill. Just so my friends could see what I was up to. So often in the afternoons, if I don't have any client work, I'll work on that. I love the solitude of living on an island. I don't get lonely. I don't, I don't know why I don't, but I, I 